Hello everyone, I'm Jonathan Place here on YouTube and Twitch. Today we're gonna to be playing some Rocket League. Friend Matt is with me, um, but he's only gonna be talking unless he can get the game downloaded in time. Okay, let's go, Matt. Oh, I have not not had any warm up games today. I have had one, but I had to exit out. I didn't mean to start it. How are you, Matt? You there? Let's go, Matt. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, sorry, my cut out on Discord. We're ready. We're live. Okay. We're recording. So anything happened since the last time? Nope. Well, I went to a New Year's Eve party. Well, I went to one. I was with DJ and Kim, so. We had fun. Someone left very early. Luckily, they did. So they couldn't get tested till today, and they tested positive, so I have to go get tested later today. I mean, aren't you Vax? Yes. Does it mean you can means you can still get it? Yes. Yes, I know, but I mean, I'm I'm I'm, I'm vaccinated. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm here. I mean, just saying. It's less likely that I get it. Yes. I'm aware of that. You're less likely to get it. Is and yet it's not as bad. That's the idea of a vaccine. Yes, I know. But the problem is, I'm in a facility where they require you to get tested, even if you don't know. Well, I know. Most, just about every place is like that, but I, I wanted to know, like, who, like, uh, so was, it, was this at a party? Or yeah, it was at the party, yeah. So, it was a part, so you were at a party with family or something? Uh, young adults group. I was at a party with a group and the leader of the group act, uh, got sick during the party and left. <clears throat> so, an old group of friends? Yeah, it's a group of friends. They don't like to be on stream. Um. Also, I uh, we played fun. We watched the uh, watched it on the uh, the, the uh, home theater. And, uh, of course, we, we of course we cable, so we watched it on YouTube. They they, they have uh, several news channels on there that stream live. Yeah. It was cool. I like I like it. What the ball drop and everything. It's pretty cool. Um, so everybody's gonna have to be tested today. That was at the party. If they're smart. Sorry about, sorry about that. You have to take it. Always be worse. Yeah. Luckily, he doesn't have the new variant. Just the old. So, has the game started? Yeah, it started. How are you doing? Oh, Sprite and throat bothering me, not bad. <clears throat> hey man, I'll be right back, okay? I gotta get some. Let yep. me continue. Okay. So, that'll be fun to get tested, not. Knowing my luck, I'm gonna have it already. Cause I have terrible luck with stuff like that. I didn't even see that coming. I was looking over my screen to see if I got any comments. Shucks. <clears throat> Can't think of anything to talk about for some reason. Can hear that in the background. Sorry about that, everybody. 
background music from my, my friend's house. Not music, whatever it is, it's just background noise. He forgot to mute his mic. You there? Hello? <sighs> See, I can't think of anything to talk about by myself. That's why I always have a friend on. That's why I always have to have a friend on. Hear the background music of whatever you were doing. Background noise or music or whatever it was. Oh, that background stuff that sounded like people talking. Yeah. Oh, that was a TV out there with Hallmark. Okay. It, it was just. It, it, it for was, some reason have. Check this out. For some reason they have Christmas movies all year round. It kind of ruins them. Not. No kidding. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's like. There's like they had Christmas movies in July. Yeah, it, it, it was like, like Christmas movies and mysteries. And then one's mysteries, one's movies, movies and mysteries, and movies and mysteries, whatever. They, and they're both, what we're having, it's like, it's like, okay, you see them so many times, like, okay, it's not even special on Christmas anymore. They used to just do them on Christmas, but now it's like, it's just Christmas all year round. I'm like, okay, so this isn't special anymore. <laughs> Like, why is it, like, you guys, it, it, it was decent, they were doing a decent job having, like, shows that weren't, you know, but it's, it's now it's just Christmas all year round, and it's like, why? Apparently they got somebody in charge of the manager that, like, really likes Christmas movies. What it is, is, is that, okay, you have them playing after Christmas, right? Well, the thing is, is they're the same movies over and over again. Yeah. The list seems to get shorter and shorter, and the thing is, they're, they're not even creative, they become the same thing, just with different people in the same story. And so, it's like, these have a lot of good stories, you know, drama. Yeah, it's like, know? everything sucks now that it's a movie. Not yeah, everything, so, but not every movie, but you know, a majority of them. Yeah, and the thing is, is it, they had some work that were It's ongoing. like here, flashy lights. Flashy things, you don't need to believe in any consistency or um, logic or anything. Guys, yeah, it's like, oh, it's Christmas in. It's like, yeah, they're having Christmas in July. I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's like, you don't need to believe in any consistency or anything. It's just, no. Um... And beforehand, it was like they had crime dramas went on. They, they weren't hot. They weren't high budget, but they definitely were getting better as they made more money and were putting more into the movies. But like now, you don't have any of those. It's it's like you used to have, you know, all those different kind, kinds of mysteries, you know. And and but now it's like none of that. And it's like okay, it was okay before. And if you're into that kind of uh, more kind of storybook, you know, telling type of uh, movies where it's not super serious, but it's serious, you get me. Yeah. It's like you're reading a book out loud, but you're playing it out, but it's not like, yeah. And it's like, you had that, and that's what was it then. Like, now it's like you just have Christmas movies. Like, it's fun to go back to what we had before. Those were good, and like, you had an entire series where you had a series of, uh, like the old Christmas Chris movies are good, the new ones are just no. Yeah, and that's all you have. That's just all they have is Christmas movies. Now, there's nothing else. Like, beforehand, you had a whole series of. 
like you know uh, uh, of uh, of you know stories like you have this each character would have like have a whole show and then each one would have a mystery and they'd solve it by oh. the end. Yeah, that's and, so like, much better than what they have now. Like even Disney movies are just blah. It's like, like oh, flashy lights, fancy things. You don't need to believe in the storyline. Everything that makes a good movie a good movie. No, we'll just make it insanely dumb and we're kind of relying on the audience to be idiots. Uh, that and just not being original. Think about it. Like, how many times are they original? It's like, now it's Christmas, like, home or Christmas all year round. Beforehand, it was like, it, it had a series and it had... And it, and yeah, it, yeah. Know. Like, why? Well, it's like, okay, you, you've done Christmas, but I've Christmas time, uh, time have some specials, you know? But it's yeah. like... It, but, but then, like before, after that, you have the kids. You have the different episodes where they have this mystery, this mystery, and the thing is, they're fairly unique and it was cool. But then it's like, um, now it's just Christmas all year round. Like, okay, this is no longer interesting because it's just the this same is thing. This boring. Yeah, boring. Yeah, yeah. It's like you know, it ruins it. Like, okay, it's not even special when Christmas comes around because it's like you've done Christmas all year round, so it's not even special now. Yeah. It's not, it's not, Congratulations, you've managed to ruin movies again. Yeah, you, you, it's like all, all it's now is known for just Christmas all year round. It's not known for. I think a lot of people like criticize it before because it wasn't like you know high budget Hollywood films, but it was they were decent movies and they were cool. So they were it was like a story. I know people are criticizing Hollywood films because they're so idiotic. And that's not what people yeah, want. Mean, people want a good storyline they can get engaged in. Yeah, think about it. How many times do you, I mean, see a film that is story driven or is it driven by just high budget, like, you know, uh... Fancy yeah, light, like, flashy things. Yeah, I get, you, you can apply this to a good story, but it's not a story to begin with. Like, the sad part is, My Little Pony is better than these high dollar budget movies. <laughs> uh, well, it's, 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 I'm not gonna lie. I'm not you with it, but the, the, the sad part is, is children's shows, Adventure Time, all these shows are literally able to produce a consistent story, but a high budget, you know, regular show, and they all produce a consistent story, but somehow a billion dollar, like, you know, movie Company. franchise. Yeah, yeah, it, a franchise that has been Star Wars and all these cannot produce a, it's like, Okay, these people are working with a budget that is a fraction of the size of what you're working with. I mean, you have Hasbro Hotel and all of those. They can they can produce a show that and you know total whatever it is. You can produce all of those, but you can do all that. You, like you, you can just with that tiny budget, you can produce a better show than a multi-million dollar movie. Yeah, it's crazy. It's insane. You think about that, like, literally, a child show is able to be more consistent. You hear about people, uh, so, uh, like, like, uh, 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 like, like, think about Adventure Time, right? Yeah. Literally more, something that is bizarre, but still more consistent than, like, the entire, like, the last Four three Star Wars movies. And it's like, that's one of the biggest franchises that, you know, has dropped in profit so significantly, and they just complain when it doesn't work, but... It's like it's it's the viewers' fault. It's not ours that we can't make a good movie. No, it's not. It's your fault. No, no. It's because you can't. It's because you're just you you, you, you made episode four, five, and six all over again. Uh, uh, you, you just did that again. You made four, five, and six. I mean, but, you, and you, the you, sad part is they're taking from the legend, the Star Wars Legends universe, which is not the Star Wars canon universe. The thing is, that Legends was originally canon, and it was still better than what they have now, and it's more consistent. I mean, their inconsistencies, yeah. but they're still more consistent. They're mad that the books are better, and they're not based on the books anymore. Like, they're just like, oh, we oh, want oh, this oh. to happen, oh, we want that to happen. Because now oh, we oh, have oh, a oh. shot of space horses riding, we have rebels riding space horses on top of Star Destroyers now. Because we need that, right? <laughs> uh, it's... it's it's, it's it's like, and then you have clone, the, like the Bad Batch. I get it's a, I get it's a, it's a good show, but it's like the old, but it's like, okay, it's like it's a, it's like these one original idea that they have in there. It's like and, and like and the, and the thing is, it's one of the 
only good ideas they've had. You know, like the, you know, like you had the Empire breakup, you know, when the Empire breaks up and becomes yeah. like, you know, fractured. But it, it happens so fast that it's un, it's insanely lame and poorly thought out. It's like, it's not yeah. even that. It's oh, we'll make the movies, but then you they expect the audience to watch Star Wars Rebels the series, Star Wars this cartoon, Star Wars that cartoon, and we'll just base it off these cartoons that have all the preconceived stuff, so we can just end it with a big movie. And it's like, not everybody watches every single stinking episode of a cartoon. Yeah, it's like that. And it's like, you think you stick on your streaming platform, but it's like, not everybody's going to want to watch this. Like, if you didn't know it was PG-13 before, it's like, I R. get you want to... Huh? Star Wars is R now. R. R-rated. Wow. <laughs> Last time I checked, uh, oh, I think it's R-rated. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. It's, po- it's higher than PG-13. Yeah, it was PG-13 before. It's like, okay, so it's like, but it, it wasn't a child audience thing. You, you have clone troopers that, you know, wind up getting messed up in some pretty bad ways. I mean, you see, it was PG-13 on Cartoon Network. It was, like, it was PG-13. If you see what happens to a lot of those clones when they are stopping yeah, the boarding party and they meet Ventress, who was, again, a, an original character, like I said, and, and, and is supposed to be sadistic and messed up, but it, it is, that's the point. She's a Sith. She yeah, lost her but mind. Uh, we'll stop there because you're getting too much off my yeah. chest. Yeah. Anyway, um, anyway, yeah, just Star Wars has gone to bottom of the road. Do you remember, uh, what was it, uh, you ever heard of the old, Repu- Star Wars The Old Republic, the game? Never played it, but I've heard yeah, of it. But the crazy part is, they made that more under canon, but it explained everything. You didn't need the red, you could just, I mean, if you at least rip something off, at least take that and go along with it. It's like, they explained where the armor, the ships and everything came from, and they're like, like oh, it, and, it, and it's like... Yeah, but they... It's just like, so the, the dumb part is, uh, the really dumb part is, the, the when the Death Star explodes, right? In the originals, we're expected to believe that Palpatine somehow survived. Yeah, no, that's no. He fell in the shop, and what we assume is probably the reactor or something. Yes. I mean, gets, and it's like, and then also it's like, okay, it's like, it's like, oh, he survived. Like, there's a lot of Dark Force power. Like, Dark Force. No. I'm sorry, but there there was a... There's a limit to how much the Force can do. The Force used to have cohesive rules. Now the Force is... It can do this because reasons. I mean... The Sith Sith can't Force Ghost because they're evil. And they they, they can bind themselves to an object. Like, what was it... Yeah, can we call but it, the it, really it, dumb it, part it, is now matter can be transferred through the force. A physical lightsaber, one of the most complex pieces of technology, can now be just oh, it, the force can just transfer it now. Did you know that? Yeah, it's like that's the that, that, the force has limitations. I mean, you can do a whole bunch of crazy stuff with it before, but it, like there's still some limitations. Now it just I mean, oh, the force can do it now. The Emperor says like do it. <laughs> If you think about it, I mean, Anakin was the reason, like, it, when you try to do something, it was supposed to be the re- reason why you don't do something that you're not supposed to do with the Force, you know? He was supposed to be a spawn that was made by the Force, remember? Yeah, it's like, okay, now what is the Force? Is the Force an AI intelligence, or what is it now? Because if, if, if the Force made Darth Vader because good was winning too much, and then Force made Rey because the... Evil is winning too much. And what is the force? Is it wanted balance? And what is the force? The, the, the thing is, it's like it's supposed to be something that neither side is supposed to really totally understand. Yeah, <laughs> it's like and it, that made it yes. good mystery. That's what drawed you in. And now it's just the force can just do it because yeah, yeah, reasons. Yeah, yeah, because like it's the force. So because I go back, was it? It was like, it was a Sith Lord. A Sith cannot force ghost, but they can bind themselves to an object. That's how it worked before. They could bind themselves to an object, bind their consciousness, like their soul to an object. And yeah, yeah, that's how that worked. And then it's like, 
Boris is like, they can just do it now. Then Boris says, says, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, like do it. And that, that's become a meme. And the thing is, is, basically, that's true. Just, it can do anything. I, like, think about this, right? Uh, it's like, it's like, not, not, he, he come back from being vaporized in some way. Just blinded, I guess. Va vaporized, and he, and he is somehow just blind now. He, he's oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Force Lightning. Oh, there's no limit to how big it can get. Did you know? Yeah. Did yeah, you know? I mean, Yes, I saw that on the movie. She, she took out a ship. I mean, no, not just a like... ship. She, he, he took out an entire rebel fleet of every of everybody coming together because they were tired of the Empire all at one time. And yet, Ray can just go. Ray's lightsaber can just absorb it. Or Ray yeah, gets I mean... blessed with it and does nothing to her. Are you kidding yeah. me? It just showed taking out an entire galactic I... fleet. Yeah. Like, like, she, like he, he, she takes out a ship, but yet she can, she can, she can like, uh, Ray she takes out a ship? And she can take a hit from it. And yeah. then you have different, I get there's cool to have different versions of it. I mean, it always worked. Always was some version of it that someone could use if they had cybernetics, like Darth Vader. He had that ability, but it was less powerful. And, but, yeah, but, it's like, but, it's not, but Palpatine does one of the most powerful things we've ever seen in the history of Star Wars. And it's just, you can just okay. do it now. Yeah. And Vader was, and like v Vader was supposed to be, I mean, how equal, I put it? equal or more powerful than Palpatine. Yeah, and it's like, it, and, and the thing is, is the, the only reason he didn't was, and it's always been clear he's a cyborg and the electricity damages that. We had the only reason he did is because of his cybernetics. Yes. Now he's not, he had a method using force lightning, but it wasn't the same. It was less powerful. He had yeah. some method. Of, which was which was cool, and now I'm like, okay, we don't have that now. He just doesn't use it. I mean, so we take away a cool ability that he, that's kind of a workaround, but we don't have it anymore. So now he's just like a Jedi, just but he's on the dark side. So he just kind of okay. You would call that a dark Jedi. Yeah, he, not like, he a Sith Lord. No, you like now he's with all these cool like force abilities. Like we don't give him anything special now. If he's no to, kidding. He, like he's just one of the best Sith Lord upon like the most powerful, yet he can do almost nothing. Like, I mean, I guess it's, he's known for his brutality, but he's not known for doing anything really special. I mean, in, 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 past, in the past, like he could do some cool stuff. Yeah, like, you know, it made he, him intimidating, it made him cool. Now it's just bleh. Yeah, okay, I think about this. Remember the, uh, what was it? Uh, you, ever, you ever heard about this? There was a Sith Lord in the old, um, you know, Legends. That basically bound his like his uh, consciousness to. Oh yeah, that, that, that of, one, that one, yeah. To a suit of armor, not mask, but an armor. Yeah, and yeah, basically, yeah. Basically, and, and basically, he had a. Uh, it was a ghost in a shell, and it was insane. He was awesome. And and, then, he really, and, and, they, and I can't remember. One of the most powerful ever. Sith Lords was Xar Kun. Oh yeah, yes. And, and they had some crazy armor that was special. I was actually like you know signature to the Sith the way it looked yeah and, yeah did you and, know that, that before they fought with lightsabers they fought with physical swords and they would view their essence into the swords yeah. which made them stronger yeah. and, and 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 the ships that were built uh, the triangle ships were signature to sith armies yeah it's like and now it's just, just i guess cool at drive yards made it that way it's like no, they're, they're, originally they were making it because like the Jedi had pretty much stopped, you know, looking anywhere into Sith yeah. designs so they were oblivious. They were too busy focused on the war, and the idea was that these Sith ships are obviously a dead giveaway that these that you know it, it was a Sith fleet, and but they, but the end they had become ignorant to it, so it just probably seemed to be deceptive. He, he, he basically at that time but he got me had the ability to hide from them, and he had created a Sith fleet right underneath their nose. That was the idea. It had all been right underneath their nose. And now it's like, okay, they just created a fleet, so they never knew in the first place. No, it's the fact that, like, it, like, it, like there's no way of knowing. They have no way of knowing. No, they had a, the idea was they had a way of knowing. They just became ignorant to it, and it failed. That was the idea, you know? Yeah, yeah, that was a... Like, really good. Gonna, and now Yoda, the depowered Yoda. 
Oh yeah. The thing, it's like. Really 